Hello everyone, I'm here with a fun card that I made for the mini release over at Jada Blossom. And here's the rainy days. I have the stamp and the coordinating dies in the same pocket, but they are sold separately. Here is another brand new die set, and that's the gnome dies, weather add-ons. And look at all the fun little pieces to go with it. It's so fun. The only thing I didn't use for this card was the little umbrella, but I did use it on my second card. So here's the gnome dies chick add-on, and I used two of those little chickies. The raindrop stencil. The rectangle dies one for the bigger one. And the octagon dies Christmas add-on. For that wavy part that's for the gingerbread, I made it look like a puddle. That's what I did with it. And some paper from Doodlebug. That pink one there. And the plaid over here. So here we go. So here is the samples I had made previously. I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna cut it out with my die and come back and do the edge with the same color of ink. So there it is, tumble glass. And I'll just, like I said, put a little bit on the edge. I'm not sure if I have a video for this or I had done it before I started videos. I'm not sure, not quite sure. And just going around. So super fun uh, mini release. You can go check it out. And here's my card base. So four and seven, eight, five, six, and one, eight. I'm gonna put the first panel down and that's with little flowers. It just matches the, the little gnome that I'm gonna make. It has the same pattern. And I'll have a little white border all around. Oh, see, I have a new Fitbit. It's my birthday today, so that's one of my presents. So I'm gonna put another layer inside. I'm, I am, um, I have barely no more papers to do cards. I'm like, have maybe, if I'm lucky, I have 10 sheets left. So I have to make an order soon. So here is the same a paper and I'm just gonna put a little strip to dress it up. But as you're gonna see, I'm gonna flip it the other way again because when I go to close it, you see that white? It's that little border is a little too long. So I'm gonna go trim inside. So I left it in there because it does happen once in a while. So there, it's perfect now. And I put a little bit of glue so we can have no trouble. Here's another layer. I didn't like the blue background with the pink touching. So that's why I put another white layer to break them up. And so it's just a little white border around. I love la uh, layers after layers. I That's maybe just me. <laughs> so here's my little gnome. I'm gonna show you a, a full one. So see how the hat's much bigger and I take those two circles that that's where you put your feet because you don't want that when you are building this little um, weather little girl. So same little dress, same as the basic um, in the package of the little girl gnome. And I did not put that pocket at the beginning, <laughs> but yes, I used a little girl gnome and I put the dress on top of my hat. I had a little bit of trouble with, with this one. 
I don't know. I had no trouble with the little boy, but this one I did have to take it apart here and there. So it's good to do it with um, dry uh, glue, not the wet one, because it's a lot easier to um, pull off. <laughs> so, and I always like to put a little bit of that stitching uh, under the hats. So here I have my little face here. And there is my little hair, my pink tails. I don't know why today was like, I was trying to put it in and I put the hair way too close to each other. I think that's what it was. So I pulled them off here and there, you'll see that. See, there's not too, too much room for the, the nose to go. So I'll put the nose in and I kind of stretched them out a bit. And I put a little bit of ink, so that's the gathered twig. I had a darker one. So there, I just pushed my little pink tails more outwards. And it's okay now. So there's the legs. So I cut them out. And I'm going to do it the same color as the little pattern on her hat. Sorry that you don't see too much of the legs here, but I'll be bringing it up in a bit. And I'm just gonna glue them under the little dress. And so it doesn't move. Also, I, I put a little piece of washi tape just to make sure it stays in place. That's what I had on hand. There, now you can see the boots. <laughs> Look at how cute those little rubber boots. They are so cute. And I do pop them up with some dimension and they're the same paper I use for the hat, the little dress and for the card base. So there I'm going to put a little, I, I guess that's like, I, I don't know, a piece of the boots. I'm not sure what they're, you would call that. Maybe it's just to dress them up. And I'm going to build my little sun. And here's the gathered twig again. Just to darken up my little sun. I thought it'd be cute with the little sun because then it matches with my little um, chickies. It was cute because I was working on this card and I was looking back and forth. I go on Facebook all the time. And in the group, somebody said that they thought, well, because it's a rainy day and puddles and stuff like that that they thought maybe there's gonna be ducks and I was like mm, but we have chickies right we can totally use chickies and I was like I said I was working on this one so yeah so there's the little hands And I like to pop my little hands up. So that's what I'll do here. There we go. Two um, pieces of dimension here so it's nice and uh, standing out I can't talk today this is my second video ah so I wanted to put my little sentiment there so then I know where to put my little girl and I'm just gonna add a bunch of dimension squares just like so Here's one of my little chickies. I'll put his little legs on. On my chickies, there's like little lines for like where his eyes are. I like them closed, so I don't put little eyes on it. I'll put a little beak after, but I don't put little eyes. I like them closed like that. So it just looks like they're playing in puddle with the little girl. And here I'm gonna put another layer so he really stands out. 
a little bit more than the other one. So I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna put them together. And I have that little wave that I got from the gingerbread. So I was looking for something that would look like a puddle and I thought that would be perfect. So here I'm just gonna put some tumble glass again on this little piece. So today my husband is gone to Sudbury and he's getting me a Dairy Queen cake. Yes, a Dairy Queen cake. Um, I love Dairy Queen cakes, <laughs> but I'm trying to lose weight. So uh, the kids will be happy. They'll have the rest of it. So it's all good. You can cheat on your birthday, right? That's the only day you can. Well, Christmas too. I cheat at Christmas too. <laughs> all right so there's little bottoms to her uh, boots and here I have some gray pieces here I'm gonna add them you won't see it too much because like I said I'm gonna put that little wavy part so it looks like a little bit of like a puddle but I still wanted to put the bottom of her boots there's a few different layers for the boots. So this way I did it different than I did for my second card. And you'll see that on the next video. So if you like that one with the little boy gnome, I think on Wednesday I'll have that one. There's the sentiment. I just put it so I can line it all up. Make sure everything will fit. So yes, so for the little gnome boy, I'm thinking Wednesday on this channel and I have two videos for today so I have ink and splatter on here and my Jada Blossom so I'm gluing one of those new clouds that come with this set and it's gonna go under my sentiment So rainy days are better with you and two layers of foam and I put it down in and I kind of want to put it a little bit more because I don't want to cover that a because sometimes you take pictures and you don't see too much so I just bring it down the hair and it's perfect now And here there's pieces to put little faces on your on your little Sun or on your cloud if you want so I just took the E08 for the mouth and I'll put the little um, eyes and I leave the the little cut that uh, can poke out for the black because I'm gonna put a little gem on there So I try to line them up the best I can here. And there's the little gems that I put down for the eyes. And I'm losing them. <laughs> they get stuck on my fingers. And they're stubborn. They have a little bit of glue on them, so <laughs> it looks like they're kind of cockeyed there. I kind of fixed it after. So I'm gonna glue my little chickies down and I still have to put the little beaks. I didn't forget, I just didn't put them on yet. And there's my other little chicky. So cute. And there they are, the little beaks. Looks like they're having fun in the puddle. 
and I'm just going to glue that piece down that looks like a little puddle to the boots. And I try to line it up so there's right in the middle. and play with those eyes and they're moving on me like there's their own glue and <laughs> so you move it down but then they slightly go back up oh well it's all good it's all fine so there's my card super fun I'm going to show you again the products that I use for today. Like I said, the dies are in that same pocket. So there's the girl gnome that I had forgot at the beginning to post. So my chicky. And, and that stencil also is already in the store. So if you're interested, go check it out. And paper from Doodlebug. So here's my card again. And like I said, I have two cards on my blog. So I'll have a video for the second card on Wednesday. Bye.